Hi everybody and what I'm going to show you here is a tutorial on how to use the InShot video editor app. Okay this is a fantastic actually app. Uh, I don't work for the company um, but what I have found is that this works on both iPhones and Android devices like your Samsung, Galaxies, Huawei's but it also works on iPads and tablets. So it's a great little video editing app and uh, you can download it for free. Okay, by going to the Google Play Store or the App Store. Okay, and this is what the icon looks like. Okay, a little red square with white um, symbol in the middle. Once you have purchased the, um, not purchased, sorry, you just downloaded for free, the InShot app, you can then, um, you will then be able to see it on your home screen on your phone or tablet. So you can just tap on it and it will give you a couple of options. Okay, so I've tapped on it and this is what comes up. Okay, you can it gives you a choice to create a new video, photo or collage. Okay, we're gonna just focus on video. Okay, so you're gonna create a new video using any clips uh, you may have in your camera roll on your phone. So choose video. If you've used the app before, um, it will store your old projects, okay, and they are highlighted there in white, and you can see the duration of the projects. If you're new to this, you may want to create a new project, which is what I'm going to do, okay, and the new project is highlighted in green with a little plus symbol on it, so you just need to tap on that. Okay, so when you tap on the video signal, it will open up your gallery uh, on the camera roll on your phone. So you can scroll through your gallery and see which clips you would like to edit together. Okay, and you'll, you can see, which is handy, the duration of each clip. Okay, by little number uh, on each clip. So you can just tap on those and they will then, um, you'll be then given an option to import them into your project. Okay, I've recorded a little movie clip of myself um, tapping on the clips. So you can just see the process. I'll just play it here so you can see what happens. Okay, as soon as I tap on a clip, this little green box below in the bottom right hand corner, a little green button with a tick mark shows. And once I'm happy with the clips, I tap on that and it'll import them into my project. So I can now see the clips in my project. And along the bottom here are the clips lined up. Okay, I can squeeze them together to see them all with my fingers. Okay. You're using your fingers to scroll along. Okay, that little white ruler line is uh, parked on whatever image is showing. So on the top here, we have a viewer, okay, where we can view our clips, okay. Along the bottom, we can see our clips lined up. And just above those clips, you can see options on what you can do with those clips. Okay, so I have made a little video clip here of me going through the process of assembling and editing my clips. Okay, so to pick a, to choose a clip you want to edit, you tap on it, okay, and it becomes highlighted in that white line around it. And on either side there are handles, you know, see the little white handles here. And you can tap on those with your finger and drag them to the left or to the right, and that will shorten or lengthen your clip. And what I've done there is I've scrolled through, I've selected my clip and I have scrolled through the toolbar just above it. Okay, so I have options here and the scissors is the most common tool I will use to cut the clip. For example, if I want to cut a little bit of it out, um, the bit that I don't want. And by clicking on the scissors, I'm given three options on what I can do with the clip. I can trim it, cut it, or split it. I suggest you split the clip, and that will split the clip where we have that white ruler line. Okay, so I will split the clip. You see, I've split it there. And if I'm happy with that, I tap on the little tick mark here on the right.
as you can see now, it has divided the clip into two. It's cut it where the white ruler line is. Now I could choose to then delete the clip in front if I if I don't want it, the extended bit, by tapping on it and then clicking on the delete button, which is the trash can here. And that will remove that clip. Or I can choose that to take out the middle bit here. Okay, I've moved the white ruler uh, uh, along with my finger, and I've decided that I want to maybe take this bit out of the clip. So I'll move along, I'm going to find my scissors. You have to scroll through, and there it is, tapped on it. And I've hit split and then the tick mark. And now you can see it has basically split the clip again. So I can choose which bit I don't want, which section of the clip I do not want, and trash it. Now I might decide that actually I made a mistake there. I didn't want to delete all those two clips. So I can tap on this back arrow and that undoes what I just did. Okay, so it takes me back a step. And this is great because you can make mistakes and just undo them. And now I have my original clip back. Now maybe I want to see all the clips lined up here. Okay, so I can shrink them down so I can view them all with my two fingers. Like think of it like zooming out of a photo, squeezing the two fingers together. Oops, I hit on transition, undo that. I'm doing that with my fingers here. I have two fingers placed over those and I am shrinking them so I can see them. Now I can t if I tapped on one there, which I've done, I can now move it with my finger to the left. Okay, so I can arrange my clips there. So it's called assemble editing. Arranging your clips in the order you want them to be viewed. with my fingers I'm zooming in oh, undo that I'm zooming in and now I select a clip I want to edit and I can drag it back using the little handle here on either side of it and generally before I start I always set the canvas size okay which is on the left hand side here uh, it's a little checkerboard and that sets the aspect ratio um, of our clip. So giving us a choice um, of whether we want to go, you know, 16 by nine or, um, or what, which is the format for YouTube or for TV. Um, you can, but we'll go into that a little bit further soon. Um, on the right of that, we have our little music note. Okay, that allows by tapping on that, it gives us the option to add music to our piece. It also gives us an option to add a voiceover to our piece with a little microphone or to add sound effects to our piece. OK, and um, what I want to look at just for now is the T that which is for titles. This will allow us to add a title to our piece. OK, um, I, I like to add a black clip to the beginning of my piece for the title um, and see where the ruler is here, this white ruler. OK. Um, I set that up by just moving it with my finger and it'll insert um, a blank screen for me there if I want or I can add a new clip there if I wish to. Um, I'm going to add a blank screen there. Okay, so I've set up my ruler, a white ruler. Okay, and I want to add a black clip there because I'd like to add a title, you know, like the beginning uh, or the title of the piece um, at the beginning over a black clip. So I will tap on this little red button with the 
white plus sign on it to add a blank screen. Once you tap on that, it'll give you this option. You can choose to add a blank screen or a video or photo. Okay, I am going to tap on blank, this one here. A blank screen will be added to where the white ruler is placed on your timeline. Okay, you can now tap on the T uh, for the text tool to insert a title. Now you can of course apply that text tool um, to anywhere on, over a video clip either that's in your timeline. I'm just choosing to add it to, and I want to show you how to add it to a blank screen. Okay, so now it'll open up the keyboard there for me and I can start to type. So I made a little video clip to show you me to show you um, how it's done. So I'll press play there. Okay, so I can type the title of my piece. And there it is. Now I can tap on this little what uh, the two A's. It'll give me a choice of fonts. I can scroll through them. So I'm scrolling through them here. I'm choosing Beavis um, because it's nice and strong. Now I've tapped on this little moving white dot to give me a choice of how I want to animate it. I'm cho okay. Hold on one second. I am choosing to. Hold on, it's still moving. I am choosing. Uh, I chose the dissolve. Now by tapping on this little color wheel here, I can choose a color. And to be honest with you, you have millions of options. You can uh, experiment away with this on your own time. Um, uh, but just for the purpose of today, I just want to show you how to do a little white title. I'm going to play it here. As I've scrolled through, I've chosen here yellow. But I'm going to go back to white here. Okay. And when you're happy with that, you click on this little white tick mark here on the right to say, okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. Or you can just close it here and decide you're going to do it later. Okay, but I, I've clicked on the little white tick mark here to say that I am happy with it. Also, you can stretch the title to make it bigger as well by put by tapping on the text box here and then dragging it. Okay, with your finger, you can make it bigger. Also, you can move it around with your finger. Okay, so you've lots of options. And now because I've clicked on the tick mark, I can see it here in green and now I can play. Okay, I'm happy with that, kind of. So it'll do for today. Um, so the title comes up in green. Okay, and if you're happy with that, then you go ahead and click this little white tick mark to say, yeah, that's fine. If you want to undo it, maybe you misspelled something or you're just not happy with the piece of text, you can tap on this little back arrow that's pointing to the left above the sticker. Okay. Uh, and that is a really handy tool while you're editing to uh, undo what you've just done. Okay. Which means you can just experiment, try something new. And if you don't like it, that's fine. It's not permanent. You just hit this back button to undo. Very, very handy tool. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to add music to your project. And I've made a little video clip again here of me doing it on InShot on the phone. Okay, before I start, so to add music to your project, line up your ruler there, the white ruler here, um, and that's where the music will be placed. You may choose to move it, that ruler further down if you want, but for the moment I'm just going to place it here at the start of my title, and then I'm going to tap on the music icon here, and that will give me a range of choices to either add music, sound effects, or to record a voiceover. So there you see, on the left I can choose to add a track, I can use, choose to add sound effects, or I can tap on the microphone on the right here to add a voiceover where I can record my voice. I'm just going to tap on that, on the music note. And it'll open up a, a choice of music for me. So I can scroll down through it. And you may want to play different tracks to see what you feel works best for your piece. So I'm going to tap on Winter Mood. 
Now in a sec, I'm just checking here to see if there's anything else that might appeal. Nope. So winter mood, is it? And it gives me a choice of songs. So you can play a song. See, if you like it. I decided, no, don't like that. I'll try the next one. And I can tap on use or copy or download. Okay. So I hit on use there and it has dropped it down here for me. See, here it is, this kind of pinky purple color. If I decide I like it, I can tap on the tick mark here, say OK, or I can hit the back arrow here on the left to go back to the other choice of music. So as you can see, the music track is here in pink. Underneath are the video um, clips in that bluey color, blue purpley color. Okay, so I have ticked it and say it's okay and now it's showing it this little pink line running along horizontally underneath my clips. That's the music track there. Okay, now that you have added music to your piece, I'm going to show you how to add a sound effect to your piece. So in this instance, I want to add the sound effect of the dog barking. Okay, and I know there are sound effects uh, in my library there of dogs barking. Okay, so I want to choose where I want to place the bark. Okay, so I want the bark to come in around here. I'm trimming the clip there as well. Lined up my ruler. I'm going to tap here on the music note. Okay, I'm going to tap here on the sound effect. I'm going to scroll down. See lots of choices there. I'm going to scroll down to animals. And there's a choice of animals. Scrolling down to dog. <coughs> Okay, play to that. I'm too, okay, so I'm going to pick one of those to use by tapping on the use. Okay, and there it is there. Here is my dog bark. Okay, so I've played it there. I don't like it. Okay, so now I can just remove it. And how I'm going to remove it is I'm going to tap on this music icon. Okay, and it opens up the audio tracks here. And I know that this one here is my dog bar because it's short as well. And I've decided now that I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to tap on it. There, and then I'm going to tap on the bin here. Okay. To delete it and then I click on this tick mark here to say okay and now it's gone so what I'm going to do here is remove the volume from a clip of me calling my dog because I don't want it in the project so I'm just going to play here <laughs> So that's the voice I want to remove, me um, calling the dog. So I can remove that from the original clip. So I can choose to reduce the volume or I can choose to extract the audio. Okay, let me just play here. And I'm going to tap on, I'm going to scroll through and find my speaker icon. Yep. Okay, and that opens up the volume. 
So I can choose to pull that back if I like. Or I can choose to remove the audio completely and separate it from the video clip. The But then it'll be out of sync if I choose it if I just decide that I need it again later. So for the moment, I would suggest just pulling the slider back to zero on the volume button here. So there's no volume. Okay, rather than extract the audio completely. And once I've pulled back the slider, I'll click on the tick mark here to say, okay. And now I'm gonna play it back to see if Okay, so it's gone. So that's how you remove the volume from the original clip. What I'm going to show you now is how just to trim back your music. And then I'll also show you how to add an end title and also how to save your movie. Okay, so I've made a little video clip <clears throat> of me trimming back the music here. As you can see in the pink line running along the bottom, that's my music track. And it extends past the video clip. So I want to trim it back. So I'm just going to play this now. So what I did there was I tapped on music, the music icon, <clears throat> and it opened up the music note and it opened up my window where I can edit. This is my music running along the top there in pink. So I can choose now to edit that if I like. So I'm just going to play it here. Okay, I selected the clip and now I'm going to edit. I tapped on the this little edit this pen tool that's to edit the music. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trimming the music back by dragging this to the left. Okay, because it was too long. I also have an option to lower the volume if I want. Maybe I have somebody speaking uh, also with the voiceover. So maybe I want the music to be lower underneath the voice so I can lower the volume here. And underneath, I can fade in the music at the beginning and I can fade it out at the end by dragging this slider. And when I'm happy, I can hit the tick mark. So let's see what I do here. <laughs> Okay, so I've decided I want to fade it out at the end. And you can see here, the music fading out at the end. Okay. Now my music track is still too long. So with my fingers, my two fingers, I've zoomed out along the bottom so I can see the length of the music track. And there you see, I can choose now to click on this, the handle on the right and drag it back. There's always a couple of different ways you can edit. Now I'm going, probably going to leave a little bit extra at the end so I can add in an end title. I'm also choosing to fade it in at the beginning and you can see that here just behind the handle, the music's going to fade in. So you get a visual uh, representation of what you're doing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank uh, black clip at the end. Then I'm going to put my title over. And I did that by pressing on this red button with the white plus sign in it. To add, so you can always use this to add clips from your library as well, your camera roll while you're editing if you want to add an extra clip. But I'm going to tap on blank. And it has put in a blank clip at the end for me here. And remember, if I want to add a title to that blank clip, I tap on T for title. So what's done? Is, is offering me dissolved here because I actually 
clicked on the little transition button there so base but while we're here basic is basically a straight cut and then you have choices of dissolves and on they go so I prefer just to use a straight cut which is basic okay if I was going to fade in a title I would use the dissolve so that's where I want to add my title so I'm going to clap tap on T here to type in a new title I'm just going to type in the end what I'm doing there is I'm just zooming in using my fingers to stretch these clips out at the bottom so I can better see what I'm trying to do and I just press play on it just to get the lead into it by pressing on this little play button here so I can play and pause my video there I've decided to drag out my title the black clip a little bit okay so you can alter the duration of your black clip there no I click I clicked it on on the T and now it opened up this window so I can start typing and remember you can drag here the size of your title okay so it comes up here in green at the end now I can choose to drag this to the right to make the title last longer on the screen okay so there's the title um, I can choose to trim it now and just get a little bit finicky what I've just done there is I've moved the title over to the right a little bit by putting my finger on the title and pressing down just dragging it to the right Now what I want to do is I want to trim back this music here to fade out at the end of the title. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to tap on this musical note so I can edit the music. And by doing that, it shows me this window. So now I can tap on this clip here in pink and edit it back. I can either just drag it back if I want. Like that. When you're finished editing your film, you may want to save it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap on this share button here. Okay, and that will save the movie for us. So that's just what I'm going to do now. And I'm just going to have a little video clip of me doing that here. So don't forget when you're ready and you're finished your movie, you can tap on the share button here and it will save it to your camera roll for you. It'll also give you a couple of options to upload it to YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, etc. So when I tapped on that share button, it opened up this window. Okay, and our resolution is 1080p. Okay, uh, our frame size is 30 frames per second. And our estimated size is 98 uh, megabytes. Okay. So that's good to know. We know it's going to take up 98 megabytes on our camera roll. Okay. So now what's doing is it's processing the video clip for me. And depending on the length of your video clip, the longer this will take. Done. Okay. So there I can see it's now saved got that little green tick mark and um, so that's now saved to my camera roll and as you can see along here you have choices of where you can upload it also and uh, that could be whatsapp instagram youtube etc you can scroll to the right there and you'll see all the options you have okay so i hope you learned something from that and um, i hope that's helpful for you um 
a handy little reference tool to uh, while you're editing if you want to just check something out or if you've forgotten how to do something. So they're the basics of editing on InShot.